Sure, so I'm with uh, nextstop.com, which is a new community site for exchanging interesting things to do anywhere in the world. I really grew out of uh, some frustrations we had when traveling about how hard it was to find uh, authentic things that gave you a real sense of a place that got beyond sort of the top 10 things to do in, in every place you go. And we really realized that if people who lived there, locals who knew the place well, could share recommendations for the things that really got them excited about the place. You could have a much different uh, experience when you're in a, in a place you don't know that well. So how did you come to decide to use Ajax APIs for your product? Well, so one of the things we really uh, focused on a lot in the early days was the process of adding a recommendation to the system. We wanted to make it really, really simple for people to share the places that they loved most. And, and to do that, we looked at a number of different tools to sort of integrate existing information about those places on the web, local type results, name and address, photos, websites. And we looked at a bunch of different approaches for how we could sort of help put that information together, but really found that the Ajax APIs had pretty fantastic global coverage of almost anything that we found people recommending. Between the sort of official local search results and the, the KML results, uh, almost anything that people recommended, we could get a point on a map for. We could do an image search to bring in some related images. We, we actually use the, the translation APIs to do language detection on what people write uh, so we can properly categorize it and filter it. And it really all sort of came together in a way that makes the process of making a recommendation super, super easy. So from the development process, any more stories? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've gone through all sorts of different ways of doing this. And one of the things that we thought was really important from an early day was to connect the recommendations people were making with each other so that as a browser of the site, I could go see what you recommend, but also the other things that people have said about that place. And given the, the breadth of content that we have in the system, everything from you know, restaurants to hikes to biking trails, figuring out how to merge that information together is always a bit uh, challenging. You know, if you have a phone number for everything, it's pretty easy, but when you're trying to sort of determine whether these two things are close enough in space to be the same thing or to be different things. Uh, there are a lot of sort of hairy situations, but we've learned through the you know, geocoding API and the local search results ways of sort of trying to make those, uh, make those decisions. So from a technical standpoint, what functionality the Ajax API has found really helped you bring that up? Well, I think you know, a lot of it was just making the data about these places accessible in a way that we could manipulate and process it so that we could kind of decide whether these two things were the same or different. Um, the, the fact that you got a lot of information back from the local search API, you know, with the phone number, with the address, starts to, you know, provides a lot of the data necessary to do that. So specifically, which APIs did you use again? So we're using the Ajax local search API, the image search API, uh, we're using the, the translation API, we're actually also using the um, I guess it's called the geolocation API part of the, the loader. That's really cool. So what are some of the features you're planning to implement for your application in the future? Well, we think um, one of the things that we could do a lot more with is, uh, is the translation API. You know, we're a, we're a global community of people sharing recommendations all over the place. And right now, most of that is in English. But we think with, uh, with some well-applied uh, machine translation, we can actually make that content accessible to a much greater variety of people. So that's something we're really excited about experimenting with anymore. That's great. So how has I open? Have you really, what, what are you going to take away from the conference, do you think? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I, I've met a lot of interesting people who've come by our, our developer pod. And uh, you know, the keynote this morning for Google Wave was great. Um, one of the best demos I've seen in a long time. Cool. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thanks a lot.